No, hey, you. Yeah, you. The one with the face. How come I've been gone for at least about a week or two and then nobody let me know? Nobody let me know. Nobody told me. Hey, let me get up close and personal with the freaking. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about you guys. How come you guys not tell me that there was a new video, Shoto versus Zuko, and nobody told me? That is a freaking no no. Yo, yo, the freak is wrong with you guys? I'm literally, I'm right here. I'm, I'm literally right here. You guys can at least send me a, a message off of Twitter, Instagram. Hey, you can comment on one of my YouTube videos. I look at the comments. By all means, why do you guys tell me? This is, I mean, my dude Zuko. But other than that, I'm glad there's a new video out there now. That I mean, that involves, you know, Zuko. So I'm actually kind of glad that they, they're doing a fight scene with him and Shoto. And I gotta admit, Zuko came a long way. He really has. For a character who everybody else hated from the very beginning of the season one of Avatar Last Dead Bender, and he immediately became the heartthrob and inspiration to all martial artists and apparently heartthrob to every woman out there. Not sure why, but I'm pretty sure I think it's the hair, so. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's the hair. Same with Show. You know, I think it is the hair. I'm getting off subject here. Before we carry on with the video, let's go ahead and put on my calming Kukulina show beats right now. <sighs> now I'm back. Anyway, if it wasn't obvious in the very beginning, let's go ahead and get on to the video that we'll be reacting to. It's called Zuko vs. Shoto Todoroki. Avatar vs. My Hero Academia Death Battle For Pai! Pai! For Pai! 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 Ooh, gotcha. And the video starts right about... Now. For all those cool anime heroes out there, there's bound to be plenty with angsty daddy issues. You mean like you? <laughs> uh, don't be silly, Wiz. I'm not an anime character. Like Prince Zuko, the firebending hunter of the Avatar, the last airbender. And Shoto Taro, the prodigal son of fire and ice from My Hero Academia. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. My money's on Zuko. That's my deal. Water. Earth. Plus, fire. Avatar Last Airbender was my favorite show. It still is my favorite show. Not was. It still is. Then everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. Yeah, the cranky old Fire Lord went and conquered basically the whole world. And a hundred years later, the equally powerful Master of Fire, Ozai, continued that tyranny. Many believed his rule would one day pass to either his daughter, Azula, or his son, Zuko. Yeah, Fire Dad was way too ego crazy for that. He drove Azula yeah. mad, even though he didn't clearly favor her. Or she little lost Zuko it. get screwed over from the beginning. Can you imagine your dad saying that while your sister was born lucky, you were just lucky, lucky to, to be born? born. I can't imagine my Dang. dad saying anything to me. Oh. Dang, dude! Right. Uh, well, despite this, Zuko was desperate to prove himself. What a fine work ethic. But he screwed up by talking out a turn in a big boy Oh, Zuko's five foot three? I'm taller than this dude. Took him aside, sat him down, and taught him the importance of respecting others. Oh, he was no, 16 wait, in Avatar. Kidding, he right. burned his freaking face up! Holy shit! With his new scar came a new mission. Zuko would hunt down the elusive Avatar, the one threat to his nation's rule, to prove himself to his father and regain his honor. Which is just a nice way of saying he was banished so he could never come back. Just Pretty much. Like my dad didn't. Though, frankly, Zuko did have the talent and training he needed to capture someone even as powerful as the Avatar. Damn right! He's a fighting pro! The dude's strong enough to shatter metal chains with a kick! He's super skilled with martial arts, dual swords, and, oh yeah, firebending! As a firebender, Zuko harnesses the light of the sun to summon flames from thin air. Wherever fire remains a light in an area that's not too cold, he can manipulate or bend it to his will. Exactly, I mean, yeah. I had to pick between swirling water around, tossing a few rocks, or farting hot air all the time. I would definitely 
they go with firebending. Same here, firebender for life. That airbending too. Surprisingly versatile. Aside from simply creating, launching, and moving flames, firebending can be used to heat objects, melt through ice prisons, and even defy gravity. Is that guy flying with fire? Awesome. Jet boosters and well, for every action, engage. Well, an opposite reaction. Newton's third law. By creating a rapid series of explosions an inch or so away from the palm, the air in between the hand and fire is launched toward the user, thereby creating propulsion. Yeah, firebending isn't wow. just about creating fire. It's about creating a bunch of it. So Zuko can make large, long-lasting walls of flame to protect himself and keep enemies at a distance. And that stuff's hot, you know. Uh, yeah, it's fire. You know, I've actually rigged up my arm to replicate the technique of firebending. Tell me, if you please. Another test. How thrilling. Now, <laughs> this isn't as simple as just pointing and shooting. Firebenders fuel their flames with their own breath. And using it at all requires a fierce understanding of martial arts. What are you trying to do, the mug arena? Zuko's favorite form, the dancing dragon, draws primarily from northern Shaolin Kung Fu. That's a Chinese martial art that's all about agility, wide stances, and aggressive attacks. A perfect mix of speed and strength. Just let you guys know. Whoa! <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> Why? Ha ha ha. You got Bert. Anyway, you got Bert, dude. Anyway. Zuko can generate is I mean, I studied a little bit of Northern Shadow Kung Fu as well. Yeah, and that's the end of my video of the floor. It really is a fun and, and amazing martial art. It really is. Next to Hungar, which is earthbending, Bagua, which is airbending, and Tai Chi, which is waterbending, and Praying Mantis Kung Fu, which is metal bending. Yeah. I love Avatar the last bit. Last bit. Everyone would be really being an, a, a martial artist. Comic, which only appears once every 100 years, Zuko has more than enough firepower to level a building. That's no laughing matter for any person or building. He's even quick enough to catch lightning and use his fire powers to redirect it wherever he wants it to go. Kapow! Suck it, Dad! Oh, shoot, wait, did he just shoot his dad with lightning? Zuko yeah, the, the, the dude to deserve it. Different path that he expected. Inspired by his kind uncle and the Avatar himself, he joined the heroes on a new journey. One of self-discovery. Yeah, it turns out he didn't need his dad's approval after all. He just needed to approve himself. It took now him this long to find out he don't need his father's approval. Zuko's Do you have the scar on your face? And now that he's the fire daddy, uh, Lord, fire lord, fire his daddy, keeps burning brighter. Are you crushing on Zuko? Fire what? daddy? No, no. <laughs> yeah, you are. It's okay, Wiz. Everybody does. Hello, is Zuko here? Hello. Hedemia's here. Dragon Welcome style. to a world where the supernatural is natural. Where more than 80% of the population... Oh, now we're going to show Totoroki! Totoroki, let's see what you got, dude. The game of system, there's a superhero leaderboard. At the very top of it stands the ultimate hero, All Might. All Might's feats and reputation were incredible. A true symbol of peace for everyone. That is, everyone except the hero perpetually stuck at rank number two. That's Endeavor, and he vowed to surpass All Might, but his literal firepower was just never enough. But if he couldn't do it himself, he would vicariously through his own heir. Thus, he made the desperate decision to arrange a quirk marriage. Basically, he paid a family off to get a wife with an ice quirk and popped out kids until he got the right quirk combo. Gross. Like I need wow. a shower. After four, uh, attempts, they finally spawned the child he was looking for. So you mean for. to tell Shoko me... Shoko Half cold, half hot. Literally. Right side's ice like his mom, and left side's <laughs> fire like his dad. Endeavor so you mean to tell me his Toto kids his supposedly lesser are made by accident, him to become the but he only wanted Shoto. Surprise! Because he has both. So, well. he drove Shoto's mom totally so he, ra he, he basically Zero. raped the mo- oh. Pouring boiling water on I saw that part. That, that was... side because it reminded her too much of him. Okay, uh, this is getting super heavy for a colorful cartoon about superpowers and frog people. Yeah. Fortunately, Todoroki never truly fell for his father's disgust. So basically, he but raped his mother repeatedly until they got the right child. And worked to use his power for good. But just his mom's power. Why use fire when you can stick it to the man? The man being a big scary fire dad over there. Anyone else notice his facial hair is made of fire? How does that work? 
from his I wonder side, that. Todoroki it, can summon it, how does he shave? Of coal, freezing the air or even creating massive glaciers of ice. Talk about overkill! And like a good AG team, Chodo needs his super iceberg something badass. Heaven piercing ice wall! Oh, you can just taste the sun. He can create sheets of ice to slide on or propel himself forward as if riding a Huey. While he can't manipulate the ice after he's launched it, he has extremely precise control over its initial release. He can even freeze opponents so thoroughly that they are frozen both inside and out, effortlessly causing necrosis and shattering body parts. Seriously, that's so dark, it's chilling. Talk about having a cold shoulder! But Todoroki has a problem. While he is highly resistant to cold, he's not immune. Here I am. Guess I'll die. Oh, I won't be needing you this time, don't you? Genuine joy. Casting too much ice from his right side will cause his body temperature wow. to drop until he falls unconscious, potentially even suffering frostbite. I mean, it takes freezing an entire building before side effects even start to show up, so it's not us. Why'd you even make the stupid robot? <laughs> That's why Endeavor chose to mix ice uh, with Sorry, got it. See, he had the same problem with his own fire quirk. But with cold and hot combined, they could counter each other's weaknesses. Thankfully, Shudo made a friend who helped show him that his fire wasn't his father's, it was his own. You tell him, Deku. Finally, the exactly power did. of Icy Hut was unleashed. Are you thinking he could help my back? It just hurts from carrying the show. While he's much less proficient with fire, given his lack of experience with it, this half of his quirk is identical to Endeavor's. His fire is hot enough to melt Tetsu Tetsu, whose body can turn to steel, which means it can reach temperatures over 1600 degrees. Whoa. He can blast fire like a raging inferno, form walls of flame to block off areas, and use his evil dead signature technique. Flash fire! Flash fire is a method of compressing flame under super hot temperatures before releasing it in a single strike. Endeavor can also shape his fire, use it to cling to walls, and fly. But even if he is a wow. huge dick, Endeavor was kind of right. Fire and ice combined, but both works at their best. Shoto's one of the best in his class, taking hits from a tank like Deku, fighting top-tier foes like Stain, and keeping up with classmates like Bakugo and Tokoyami, who can block Kaminari's electricity. And while he's often criticized for relying too much on this quirk, Todoroki is incredibly smart and a quick thinker, reading and setting traps for his opponents in the blink of an eye. And after all that craziness, he finally packed things up with his mom, and somehow even inspired his dad to try and be a better person. What a nice story! I wish you could inspire my dad too. Not mama, though. She's already perfect. Well, on his way to becoming <laughs> a successful hero, Shogo Todoroki no longer fights in spite of his father, but for himself and the sake of others. Yeah, dude, I mean, it's your power. You do what you do. I'll be a hero. Before the death battle comes up, guys, All comment right, down below what power or court would you like to have. And first, if you're not really much of a My Hero Academia fan, this let me know. This battle is sponsored by Blue Chew. Blue yeah, Chew. Just remember when you were always ready to go? Even when you're stuck indoors for ages, we all know having a good time in bed makes life better. Blue Chew is here to have I saw Blue, Blue Chew before on 85 South Show, but anyway, if you guys are also uh, Avatar Last Airbender fans, let me know what element would you, to have to have you like to have as a, you know, to describe you, what vendor would you be, and put them down in the comments down below, all right? Blue Chew is prescribed online by licensed physicians. I and mean, the court, it can be any court. It doesn't have to be off of My Hero Academia. It can be any one of those. And yeah. it ships right to your door in a discreet package. Just in case you're a little awkward about it, like Liz here. Hey, no big deal. Bio! <laughs> Dance the dragon. <laughs> Villain? You'll pay for that. No way! I'm not the bad guy here. I mean, not anymore. Your actions say otherwise! Dude's just practicing, what? Like my father. I'll prove I'm better than both of you! Just mad him! Why can they give me the bad guy here? <laughs> What's the matter? Nothing under pressure? You know what? This is the wolf his tail. He's picking the fight for no reason. Wow. 
Wow. Okay. speechless i really have nothing else to say i am speechless do me a favor cut on to the next scene because i have nothing to say for this one i'm a bit i'm legit ticked and a little bit relieved i really don't know how i'm feeling hmm. cut to the next scene oh, we get this there we go now guys, I I am sad because my bro died. 
Because I look up to Zuko as a brother. This dude literally is one of the other characters that inspired me to carry on the martial arts, especially taking Northern Shaolin Kung Fu. Okay? And now I see that he died and he was no match for um, Todoroki. I mean, he, I was hoping he would do like... Ching, ching. But he didn't. I legit thought he was going to kill him. But it's like he killed him. What the freak is going on? They're God. Anyway. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is the end of the video. If you guys like this video, by all means, if I didn't said this in the beginning, by all means hit that like, subscribe, notification bell for any of my future videos. I hope you guys have a beautiful, blessed day. I'm sorry for everybody else who was hoping for Zuko to win. I was hoping for him to win too, but it apparently Shoto won. So, uh, of course, we're done. So, bye, everybody. I hope you guys have a beautiful, blessed day. By the way, let me know any other videos to react to down in the comments down below and also on Instagram and Twitter. Peace out. Pilo. Zuko lost.